In the early 70s, Raymond Williams put together this really important book to all of us, um, Keywords. And what he observed was certain words sort of suck into themselves huge amounts of meaning because they serve many communities and many people in different ways, that they are a place where culture sort of coalesces and also confronts itself. Um, in, those, in this book, which is quite extraordinary, the word gender does not appear. As I'm sure you understand, that could never happen now. So our new situation is that gender is everywhere. There's a great efflorescence of thinking about it. Um, at first, feminists, who are one of the sources of this enormous development, um, distinguish between biological sex and culturally specific and variable gender. Sex, birth, gender, culture. This didn't last for more than two minutes. This was a distinction that fell apart immediately. Um, gender traveled, it became a key word, it got gobbled up into many different quests for meaning and identity. And though I can't travel in one minute down all these roads, let me point to some odd collisions. How about the small group of feminists who say trans people can never be authentic because they didn't suffer femininity from the start of their lives. Odd, since women suffered their, femi suffered their femininity in such different ways. Or how about the doctors who make trans people declare a fixed and unwavering gender identity? No ambivalence, no ambiguity allowed, or they can't get the surgery. Uh, and hormones they want. Or how about page three? I think I have it here. Yes. The people who are terrified of, the gen of gender uncertainty, this thing that I wonderfully celebrate, so many others in the queer projects of our time, they're people who really are afraid of us. And they're insisting that you have to have your birth certificate before you can pee. Very odd, very odd. And now, to round out my minute, oh yeah, oh, my minute and a half, um, let me just remind you of the new panicked, xenophobic um, right-wing governments that are gaining power all over Europe. Uh, they're mounting campaigns, along with their other projects, um, against something they call gender ideology. Again, how strange. And yet this is happening all over Europe. Um, and of course, maybe it's happening here too. Uh, what can this be? Um, um, it seems as though uncertainty is unacceptable, no more flexibility, no more equality, no more shared housework. That's what's happening, and that's what the falling apart of gender needs to accomplish, a counter-movement to this fixity. Thanks.